Welcome to another edition of Highlander News. I'm Abby. And I'm Luke. Many people don't know we have a school nurse. Jordan Klein scopes out the story. My name is Renee and I'm a nurse with City County Health and I was assigned to the school two years ago when I started there and have really enjoyed working in the schools. I am married and I have two children. Uh, my son Connor is three. He'll be four in January and then my son Cameron is nine months. He'll be a year two days after Christmas. Typically, I end up coming to the school right away in the morning. I spend my first three to four hours of my day there. I do anything from checking immunization records, doing head lice checks, um, checking medications for students. There's many differences that come along with this year. I've seen a lot more sick students, um, a lot more absences. It's been a lot more difficult, to say the least. Being a school nurse comes with many challenges, especially this year. I think the hardest part is talking to the students and having to send them home. It's difficult for them and they just don't understand most of the time why it's happening and it just is really hard. Renee shared some tips on how to stay safe during these times. I would say if you are not feeling well, stay home. Um, the things I've noticed with the students is some people just start with a headache, some people start with a sore throat. As soon as you start getting those symptoms, head home. Reporting for Highlander News, this is Jordan Klein. With volleyball season heading into the state tournament, the seniors share their favorite memories. Reporters Derek Deagle and Jace Thompson bring you the story. As the volleyball season comes to an end, we looked back with the seniors about their favorite memories. Uh, my favorite memory is qualifying for state last year against West Fargo at Fargo South. My funniest memory is when Tyshawn ran through the varsity match. My favorite memory from volleyball is still being able to practice this year when everyone was quarantined except Tessa and me. My funniest memory is in eighth grade I got hit in the face twice in one game. My favorite memory is going to state volleyball. My funniest memory is playing Among Us on the bus. My favorite memory is definitely making it to state last year. My funniest memory is making random bets with our coach Becca to get out of running. My favorite memory from volleyball was taking nine people in an eight-passenger Highliner van to Grand Fork Central my freshman year. My funniest moment was setting up our C-Squad coach on Tinder to help her find a boyfriend. My favorite memory from high school volleyball was making it to state twice. My funniest memory from volleyball would be the Bismarck tournament when we do singing and dancing competitions. My favorite memory from volleyball was probably in eighth grade. We were at a JO tournament and I hit a girl in the face with a serve and she had a bloody nose and had to get served out. My funniest memory was probably from this year. We were going to go up against West Fargo Cheyenne and I was so certain I was going to get hit in the face. I was mentally prepared for it and then Jaden Dieterle got hit in the face first, and I was so excited it wasn't me. Everyone was so excited I didn't get hit in the face, and then two minutes later, I got hit in the face. For Highlander News, this is Derek and Jace. One student at VCHS is pursuing her passion of writing. Reporter Avery Murray writes up the story. I have been writing pretty much my whole life. It's just kind of in my blood. Uh, my sister was really into writing for a while. And I just kind of learned from her, and I've been writing ever since. I write for the Times Record here in Valley City, along with a couple other student writers. Uh, I do an article a week just on local events, things like that. And then I also cover all the home volleyball games and the home basketball games. And I also uh, just kind of write in my free time and I enter some stuff into some competition. Recently, Olivia has been getting some well-deserved recognition. Uh, last spring, I entered one of the essays I had written for our English class into the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards and it actually ended up uh, winning its category at the local level and then it went on to the national level and I ended up winning a gold medal for that. Um, and then I recently got a message from a literary journal based in New York who read my piece uh, that I entered to that award ceremony and uh, they asked me to write something for their literary journal. Olivia is planning on making writing a key part of her future. In terms of the Times record, I like writing for the Times Record just because I, I know that it's what I want to do for a career, so I feel like I'm doing something productive in terms of uh, getting a head start in 
what I want to do in life. Reporting for Highlander News, this is Avery Murray. Sometimes it is hard to believe that the seniors were ever little kids. Teachers share a few memorable stories from seniors' elementary days. Caden Lloyd. Bum, bum, bum. Um, Caden Lloyd was terrified of spiders, so that was kind of a running joke that we enjoyed. So Caden was a kindergartner in my classroom many years ago, and he and another student were trying to spell a naughty word and got caught. And so they took naughty notes home. I wrote him up and sent it home with him and called his mom to tell him that it was coming home and he hid it from his mom. Then when she went to look for it, he had it ripped up into tiny, tiny little pieces and thrown in his garbage. So his mom made him tape it back together and bring it back to me the next day. Derek Bear made me this adorable thing that says best teacher out of Wixie sticks and that still hangs up behind my desk. So here I'm talking about is Lexi LaRue. I had moved into her neighborhood just down the street and I was teasing her about um, how I like chocolate chip cookies and that I would sure take some if she ever wanted to bring some down. Well, a few days later she, she did <laughs> bring some chocolate chip cookies down for me and uh, Lexi, if you're watching this, I still live down the street and I still like chocolate chip cookies. There is Blake and Blake bought me at Christmas time. He felt bad for me because the pencil sharpeners were always broken, so he bought me this little personal pencil sharpener, a little red thing. It had batteries. I actually had both the Zahn twins at the same time, and I really appreciated when I had a really stressful day. It's like Drew always knew when I was having a bad day, and he always stopped by my desk on his way out and told me he hoped I had a good day. Olivia is an amazing writer. She did this awesome, in fact, every year I tell my class about her fourth quarter writing project for Roanoke Island, because that was one of the most memorable writing projects I've ever had. For Highlander News, this is Peyton Bucket. There are a few new faces in our building this year. Amber Knutson and Michaela Waitson introduce you to our English teacher, Mr. Bushman. Welcome to the newest edition of Teacher Trivia. I'm Amber. And I'm Michaela. Let's catch up with the newest English teacher, Mr. Bushman. What high school did Mr. Bushman graduate from? A. Devil's Lake B. Jamestown C. Valley City or D. Fargo South I graduated high school uh, here, Valley City High School. What sports did Mr. Bushman play in high school? A. Hockey and baseball B. Basketball and football C. Tennis, golf and track or D, baseball and basketball. I was a tennis player, a golfer, I ran track for two years. What activities was Mr. Bushman involved in? A, band and choir, B, choir and theater, C, theater and art, or D, art and band. I was in theater and I did choir. What college did Mr. Bushman attend? A, Minot State, B, Valley City State, C, Michigan State, or D, North Dakota State. And then I went to Valley City State University. How many kids does Mr. Bushman have? A, three, B, six, C, zero, or D, one? I have three kids. Um, Ellis is three, uh, Lewin is five, and Veda is, she's 10 months just last week. Reporting from Highlander News, this is Michaela and Amber. With the holiday season coming up, Reporter Stephanie Hofferth explains the Fuel Up to Play 60 holiday challenge. Need a little motivation to stick with your fitness routine during the busy holiday season? Ooh, look at this. Join Valley City's Fuel Up to Play 60 for the holiday challenge. It's an easy way to stay active during the busy holiday season maintain your motivation, and set yourself up for a fit and healthy new year. Once you have completed your 5K, post your accomplishments on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag VCFUTPChallenge or email your name and photo to vcfuelup60 at gmail.com. All participants will receive an event t-shirt. The t-shirts can be picked up on December 14th or 15th between 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the high school through door one. For more information, visit our Facebook page or the Friday Flyer. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Highliner News. I'm Luke. And I'm Abby.